many of us spend thousands of pounds desperately trying to conceal it. Grey hair. But what causes it? Now, for the first time, scientists have proved the theory that stress is to blame. And it's not only in the hair follicles or in the skin, but also in the heart and our brain. These Experts say if stress is doing that to our hair, imagine what it's doing to other parts of our body. This is a groundbreaking study that clearly shows that events in the body that are connected with a stressful environment can lead to change in hair colour. This could lead to a better understanding of how we can change our lifestyles to live more healthily as we age. Scientists at Harvard University found the sympathetic nerve system, which is responsible for the body's fight-or-flight response, plays a key role. Stressful events cause a chemical to be released in hair follicles, which affects the stem cells that colour our hair. Pigment-producing cells are depleted so that when a new hair is made, it has no colour. There are plenty of anecdotes from history, like Mary Antoinette, whose hair reportedly turned white overnight when she was captured during the French Revolution. So is this something we should dread or celebrate? Alex started going grey in her 20s. By her 40s, she'd stopped dyeing it and embraced the grey. Did you find it liberating, embracing your natural hair colour? I did, because I felt that I wasn't a slave to tinting. The added bonus of giving me a little more money to spend on other things. So do you think society puts a pressure on us to look a certain way I to think dye our hair? So. I, I think so. I think there is some pressure to do your hair in a particular way, which means that you shouldn't really let your grey be seen. Scientists haven't found a way to prevent going grey, but say this paves the way towards reducing the damaging impact of stress, not just on our hair, but on our health. Rebecca Barry, News at 10.